wearing her crew cup, the jeans and the t-shirt and jacket she's wearing, the look in her eyes I recognise as defiance. She sparkles, she glitters, but she's someone like me, someone who won't fit as the rest of them do in her stickers. There's one on each shoe, another one on her backpack. Whatever it means, she's keen for me to know it. She's telling the world, though not quite out loud, out and proud. I'm seven, and I'm good at reading, and this strange new slogan seems somehow misleading. Out, and they don't go together. Uh, it should be out of, and I don't know whether it's okay to ask. She looks fierce. Her lip and her nose and her eyebrow are pierced, and she glitters with the light of someone I might like to be one day, but I'm not so afraid. But I know what Mum would say. Don't bother the lady. Don't talk to strangers. She looks a bit like my sister, who's braver than I am. I'm seven, and I'm good at trying to be invisible. I'm good at hiding in plain sight. I'm used to putting myself in a bubble, being unobtrusive, no trouble, and I'm good at reading. Proud. Pride. It's a thing you can feel if you've tried and you've done something right. You've succeeded. But what did she do? It's impossible to tell. Maybe my reading isn't as good as I thought. And as we go further and further north, she seems to become more and more alone. Maybe she's been with her friends all day. And now, just like me and my mum, she's off home or somewhere she really doesn't want to go. She's furtive, her eyes start to look dart up and down the crowded carriage and then start to droop. She's tired, I hope she doesn't mind, I'm watching her reflection against the blurring countryside. I don't want her to lose her pride, but it seems to me, with every mile, she's leaving it further behind. The train pulls into Leeds. She stands up, peels off the stickers, sticks them back to back, stashes them in the back pocket of her backpack, leaves. In the toilet in Leeds, I asked my mum, what does out and proud mean? She smiled with relief. I'm so glad you didn't ask on the train. They, I wouldn't have known what to say, but she doesn't explain. At home, I asked my sister, Pierce knows, Pierce knows everything. There was this girl on the train, she had this sticker, and what does out and proud mean? She grins, begins explaining, well, you know how I'm going out with Max and Tom's Anna's boyfriend? Well, that girl has a girlfriend instead of a boy, and some people don't like that, so she's saying, oi, I'm proud of who I am. The out just means it's not a secret. I pout. Can't believe it. This wasn't in the book. Mum made me read about sperm and vaginas and babies. The fact of life. This seems like something I should have been told about. Lots of things. The facts of life. What a stupid title for a book that leaves so many things out. But it's five years before I learned names for ways I was like her. I'm hoping she realised how much I liked her. In the years of her being locked out, left out, forced out, pushed out, she made it that bit easier to hack it. Because she left a sticker on her jacket that told me that I was allowed to be different, out and proud.